Welcome back, Masters and Princesses, to another episode of Made News Network. I am your host, SJ Nix, and I'm here with Peter today. Hi, Peter. Hey, what's you. going on, SJ? <laughs> and we are here for a special video. This is our two-year anniversary video, and we just want to talk about what's gone on in the past year, and that's that's two. And we're going to talk uh, a little bit about uh, our first year, basically the whole history of this channel, what it started as, how it's progressed, what it's become right now, and what we see it doing uh, going into 2025 and beyond. So with that, let's talk a little bit about where we've been and where we've been and where it all began was back at the Belasco doing some goofy live streaming and just kind of screwing around. Peter, we were talking a little bit off camera. He says that was Belasco was one of your best memories. Why would you say so? Oh, I mean, it was great because after what nearly half half a decade of like interacting with you and others online to actually see you guys um, and put a face and body to you know just these words. It was special. I mean, and to share the experience of bandmate together, to be in line together, to do the Dawn Patrol together, um, to get inside there, and then just to like lose our minds together. It was a special thing. I mean, and the fact that we had warning, <laughs> I mean, that was just like cherry on top, the, the biggest damn delicious cherry. Like it was such good stuff. So um yeah i mean that definitely kicked off a lot more affection and sentiment towards you and towards the bandmit community which i had only kind of every now and then sort of dipped into like online so yeah uh, yeah definitely definitely a flashpoint um all the that was that was pretty much the it wasn't the first shenanigans but was probably the first planned out coordinated let's go big shenanigans with the the misa towels and then we did the cake and the, the flowers, flowers for her birthday right and that set everything in motion for everything after that whether it's uh, other people in other cities doing towels or coming up with stuff on their own and then we did one of my biggest memories uh was the uh the sunglasses from anaheim and then psyche's flowers and the champagne and all that other crazy crap and it just started everything for the channel and all of the crowdfunding and all the shenanigans and stuff that we've done uh definitely um a good memory for me all of those live shows 100 percent. yeah it was a good first year for us i think that first year starting the channel um and they sort of kind of kicking off with uh, Tokyo Garden Theater, The Last Rock Stars, like all these shows coming up. And then why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? Why don't we make this? Uh -huh. And I just thought, what's wrong with you? Relax. <laughs> no, but it was great. I mean, the sunglasses, the playing cards, um, the, always the flowers, chocolate, the champagne. I mean... It was fun. It was wild. So it was, yeah, it was busy. It, it, it was a labor of love with heavy emphasis on the labor part. Yeah. A lot of time done, uh, five, 10 minutes when you don't have five or 10 minutes to check on something and make sure something happened. And it got, and uh, just to make sure it all got done and was ready in time. Yeah. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. But I always say it's better to take part if not create history rather than just observe and read about it. So I definitely feel like we played our parts, not to be braggadocious, but we played our part in doing some special stuff. So it was good. Definitely. Fair enough. Um, so first year was jam packed, loaded with stuff. And then we get to our second year with the first year was 10th anniversary with all of the tattoo updates and stuff. We were, spitting out videos left and right and then we get into the, uh, 2024 and a much needed and deserved slower year things slowed way down for the band and the channel and its primary focus which brings us to you and all of your club crawling yeah i mean 
it's interesting because starting the channel slowly kind of dipping into bands and going to shows here and there in Osaka and I had no choice because there were only a few bands and a few shows here and there but then here comes this desire to move to Tokyo and to really be at the center the epicenter of this like massive natural it's not even disaster it's it's this creation going on this renaissance here in, in Tokyo and just the desire to play a part in that and to do something more um but that coincided with bandmate taking a step back taking a breather really just kind of giving themselves some time to just be more I guess maybe be more deliberate do things more behind the scenes um which then left a lot of room open in terms of what we would be doing. And so definitely I would say this channel got filled in with my coming here to Tokyo and then becoming one of the busiest bees <laughs> for better or for worse at times. But um, I definitely loved it. I loved, and I'm so grateful that I actually got here. Um, You know, if we're talking about two years of this channel, like it's very much because of this channel, because of you and all the the fans, subscribers, just the friends, the family, really, um, who contributed in helping me survive while I was looking for a job, a place to live. Um, and so the second year is really about me going through a lot And then the latter half of this year, the second year, has been me living out and just eating the fruits of of just that um, that love and support and affection. So, um, and a bad foot, <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm still which I'm still dealing with, to be honest, which is ridiculous. Uh, Paul had the thorn in his side. I have this weird bump on my foot. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, you you've exposed channel watchers to So many bands that they would never ever even heard of probably without Um. this channel. And while they're not our most watched videos, I know for a fact that you have absolutely created new fans, overseas fans for bands that would never otherwise gotten to even hear the name, let alone the music of these bands. And now they're going finding this stuff on their own, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm really grateful. Um, you know, one of the inspirations and it always, I always go back to smile, um, which, you know, is probably one of bandmates greatest B sides. Um, But that first line, that opening line, which, where Saiki sings Haji Mario wa Chisai Dream Story, you know, like at the beginning, this just this little dream. Um, and I know that's Miku just thinking like we were this little band made, you know, playing these little venues, these live houses um, and thinking we'd never make it. And we almost didn't. Um, And so that always inspires me and inspires me to really want to try to help these bands who, I mean, some of them are fine and content, you know, with kind of doing, doing this Tokyo circuit and just doing these things day to day. But I know there are bands who really do want, um, are they as hungry as, as Miku for world domination? I, I think there are some out there. And if, if I can help them to, Uh, fulfill that dream in their lives like I would love to and it's just great to discover new music so yeah Right on. Well, uh, with this year being slower, I, I poked around a little bit before we did this and including the four Zep shows, unless they add something in December, they played a total of 20 shows for the entire year, which is actually very low for them. And they were all uh, in country. I don't, the Hong Kong show wasn't this year, was it? Wasn't the end of 23? That was the end of 23. Okay. So yeah, they did not leave uh, Japan this year. Totally fine. Much deserved rest. So I don't have any, there's no real highlights for me. Uh, I Mm. put a lot of thought into this. And the one, the only thing that came up with was, uh, was Bestie. That just really, really 
what if that song really, really resonates with me? There's Miku is so good at love letters, uh, whether it be mm. to the fans or in this case to her bandmates. Mm. And then just the stylistic change, the video with uh, the complete change in outfits and background. Mm. It was just a real nice kind of breather opening up in something new. Uh, really enjoyed that, that song, which dovetails into probably the big thing this year, obviously, is going to be the release of Epic Narratives. Mm. Um, some really, really good songs on there. Some songs that I'm like, they're okay. Uh, but I'm really starting to appreciate. I have not put a lot of listens into the album to be perfectly honest, but each one I'm finding a little something more. And I think the biggest highlight from this album, and in fact, I think I'm going to do a video on it once I have time to, to gather my thoughts and listen and write stuff down. There are some of the best riffs they've ever written are on this album and they're tucked away in weird places. It's not like it may not be um, a main riff, but Konami noodles a lot, but holy shit, there's some amazing riffs on this album. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't tell you what's on off the top of my head, but there's one in particular that I'm like, that is an, um, that's, that's one of the best riffs I've ever heard from, but a super riffy album. Um, another thing that we, we did, it was late last year, but for this year is we added another channel member and that was destiny and destiny brought in some real interesting insight to the channel uh, really connected with some of the more female viewers. And we were able to do some interviews mm -hmm. in relation to that nitpick being one of the primary ones. And then some other female fans, um, real interesting addition to the channel. Uh, but we want to let you guys know right now that for a variety of personal reasons, destiny has stepped away from the channel. Uh, she will, as of now, she will not be back in any of our videos. She's still a fan but she needed to, for uh, her own reasons, to step away. So Destiny, thank you so much for everything you contributed to the channel in the last year. We really appreciate it. If you ever need anything, uh, Peter and I will be here for you. So thank you so much for your contribution. Yeah, definitely. Um, I appreciated a newer fan's perspective, a female fan's perspective, and somebody who, yeah, really kind of added a different spice to not just our channel, but to the bandmate community, which I really appreciate because, you know, there tends to be a certain type at times. So it's nice to have people who go against type, who go against the grain. And it's something that really kind of made me think more and bounce off of more. So thank you for that. But yeah, we're definitely here for you anytime, always. And I don't know another fan that went from zero to a hundred more than Destiny. Usually it's like, you, you oh these are great and you start digging around and finding more videos and then it just kind of settles off no she dove into the lore and the history and could quote you different songs were played here and just she get gathered almost a decade's worth of knowledge in a little over a year as being a fan so very impressive with that looking forward what are we going to do for 2025, Peter, what's on that? Well, let me start this one. So I would almost guarantee that by the end of this ZEP tour, we're going to get at least some information on what 2025 is going to look like. Mm. I expect some international shows. Uh, where those are, I, I don't know. Um, I expect and hope to come back here. Hopefully they go to Europe. Uh, I, I know the Australian fans are rabid for them. I'd love to see them maybe do a festival and a couple of shows in Australia. But anything that they do uh, next year, especially international, I'm going to be there covering it. Uh, Peter will do some of the in-country stuff. But I know Peter has some ideas what he wants to do uh, in Tokyo, in that general area for 2025. Yeah, I mean, but with regards to Bandmate, um, it really is like, we don't know. We have no clue what they're planning. We have no idea. At least pre-10th year, we knew they'd be doing something pretty special. And they like went all out, like all out to the point where, you know, Konami would collapse. Um, 
with this year being restful and being rested and with 25 holds, one of the things, this is just a prediction, is that I think they will do their Budokan revenge. I do think Mm-hmm. that they will finally say, you know what, this is where we want to go. This is what we're going to do. And they're going to go there, kick ass and conquer. Um, but beyond that, yeah, I mean, we are waiting for, for the last Zep show to, to get some information. But yeah, shows somewhere, definitely in Japan. And I will try to be there when I can. Um, but we know there's not, I don't think there's another album coming out next year. I don't think it would that be that quick of a turnaround. Um, but that would be a pretty cool thing too. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens and we'll definitely get back to you as far as uh, what we'll be covering, um, at least for the first half of 25, based upon what they tell us. But beyond that, um, yeah, I'll continue to do what I've been doing. Um, I love what I've been doing. Um, I'm still kind of, Finding my way, calibrating, um, trying not to overdo, not to overextend, and sort of planning out my own schedule for, for next year and the things that I, I want to accomplish, the goals that I have. But it definitely will include bands like Hades, Saisega, uh, Dim Rays, other bands that we've supported and that we've covered on this channel. Um, And just, yeah, support the motorboy we can. So there will be more interviews. There will be um, live shows posted. There will be a number of different things. Um, but the details will come in time. The details will come in time. But we are here to support just whatever bands that I, I think just um, capture our hearts. And I'm, again, I feel very lucky. I feel very fortunate to be even here to be able to do that. So thank you guys again for those who really helped me to be here. And I'm excited. I'm excited for what the next year holds. It's only been half a year in Tokyo. So again, that just means that a lot of groundwork has been laid down and it's going to start growing and building. I think not only for what I'm doing here, but I think for our channel too. So it should be some good stuff. But uh, SJ, any, any predictions you think? Anything you want to sort of like throw out there into the universe? speak into being I don't know about predictions. Um, I would love to see them. I, I guess if I was going to want something, I would like them to do a larger venue show here, a Palladium at 3000 mm. or even, um, even a YouTube theater at 6,000. They don't have to do the entire one. I've seen it where they, they block off the way it's built up. They block off the upper level and it comes in at about 45, I think. Hmm. I'd love for them to do a larger venue here like this, get past that 1500 mark. Hmm. Actually, get past the 2000 number mark. I'd like them to, I'd, I'd like to see them do something big here, whatever that looks like, even if it's a, um, either a one, instead of doing multi cities around the country, I'd rather see them do a couple of really big shows at select locations. Hmm. Uh, I think that would be pretty special. Mm. Um, and I, I, okay, here's your prediction. Since you asked, they're going to go to Mexico and they're going to do a show at the warning. It's, it's the reciprocity from the, the, the show that they did in Japan with them. <clears throat> I just, I see, I see that happening. Uh, that's as far as predictions go. I think that's it. My predictions and my wants, obviously I want it in my backyard. So something in LA. So that's why I say the palladium or YouTube theater. I think that's kind of where we're we're at, where we've been going back, where what this year looked like, and then what we're looking for going forward. So you will see coming up once we figure out exactly, we're going to slightly rebrand the channel because as of now, it's Made News Network, all, all the latest in band made news. We're just going to officially expand that out to include um, the Tokyo bands that uh, people are reviewing and exposing everybody to. So we'll always be band made. But we're officially expanding out uh, in our branding as to including uh, the underground scene, the indie scene, whatever you want to call it in Tokyo and keep exposing you to those bands. Peter, you got anything else you want to toss in here before we wrap it up? No, just thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to those of you guys who have joined us, who have stayed with us. 
and supported us all the way through everything. And, uh, you know, big thanks to SJ, just being my partner in crime with his channel. And to all the bands who have been willing to see past my insanity and uh, take my hand. So I hope that we will continue to grow, to continue to just see and experience things that, I don't know, the best that we can experience, you know, the big things, the good things, the great things. I think I'm really just excited for 2025. And I think, um, why can't there be more, you know, why can't it get better? So. Absolutely. It's fun for us. We want to make it fun for you guys. And remember this, the goal is always, it's always this. So Say we'll keep working for it. Fuku. Ah, Kai fuku. Fuku. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Told you my wife reads that as sensei says, fuck you. Every time I wear this shirt, that's what she has to say. But anyways, thank you guys so much What's for that? being with us. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us for the last two years. But for now, This has been SJ. I'm here with Peter, Made News Network. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. So thank you, Made News Network, for two years of keeping us up to date when Bandmates touring, doing after show interviews and updates, and uh, just getting a lot of unknown bands in front of our eyes so we can see and appreciate their music. Uh, keep up the good work. I, I appreciate it. Congratulations on your anniversary on the channel. Congrats, guys. Dude, they have some of the best videos about Bandmate. They're always following them everywhere they go. They're always there at all the concerts, so make sure you're following them so you can get all that, that good information about Bandmate. Guys, again, congratulations. See you. Hi, I'm Russ Henry, along with Jake Davila from the Foxhole Radio Show. We want to congratulate Made News Network and everyone there on two years of great content, not only for the maids, but other bands as well. We really appreciate everything you guys are doing. Keep up the good work. Much love from the Foxhole family. Hola, Made News Network. Congratulations on a two-year anniversary. Thank you for keeping us informed about our maids, as well as keeping us in the loop about other great Japanese bands. Also, I wanted to express my gratitude for having a, the opportunity to be interviewed on your channel twice. That being said, best wishes and cheers to Made News Network for many more years to come. Congratulations. Made News Network, We are Hey! Yay! Bottle of Sade, Dad of Queer, and the Watch. Hey, Sunday. 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 おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでとう。おめでと
Thank you always for your support. Uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. Bye. Thank you. Bye. こんにちは、ザ・ステレオギャングです。MNN2 周年おめでとうございます。おめでとうございます。これからもよろしくお願いします。バイ。バイ。See you. See you. ピーター YouTube チャンネル2周年おめでとう。おめでとうございます。でピーターのシャンドリオはですね日本の J ロックそしてエルディーズシーンのバンドをねたくさんたくさん紹介してくれて本当にどうもありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。そしてねチャンネル登録してくれてる皆さんも、えー、日本の音楽シーンをね気になって見てくれてて本当に嬉しいです、うん。チャンネルが長く続くように祈っておりますのでこれからもピーターのチャンネルよろしくね。ソールパーツでした。ソールパーツでした。メイドニュースネットワークチャンネル2周年おめでとうございます。再生後もね、以前インタビューしていただきましたね。はい、これからも素敵な日本の文化を発信していってもらいたいと思います。えー、再生画もまたぜひよろしくお願いします。ではでは、再生画の京子と。ファックンです。こんばんは、ね、猫メッシーでーす。メイドニュースネットワーク、2周年おめでとう。えー、ピーターには、えー、全力でお世話になっていきたいと思ってます。みんなよろしく。M N N second anniversary congratulations from the commission。バイ。Hi Peter。Hello。Hello。Team Lays。ボーカル。あかね。ベースナホ。はい。ディムレイズボーカルカネでーす。ベースナホでーす。<笑>日本語。<笑>メイドニュースネットワーク2周年おめでとうございますおめでとうございますイエーイ !2 years two years old ハッピーバースデー !Thank you! というわけでバイバイこれからもよろしくお願いしますバイバイ !See you!Hello everyone!We are s a r a h y e ハッピーハッピーバースデーおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとうおめでとう目まぐるしく変化する世の中でかけがえのない日々をメタルスピリッツを未来につないでいきたいもっと健やかにもっと大胆にもっと笑顔が絶えないライブ会場へカニエルカオチズシュンベンそして同じ志を持った仲間と共に私たちにできることはもっとある。だから、シーグレープスはメタルバンドとしての役割を超えていく。MNN、いつもありがとう。2周年、本当におめでとう。シーグレープス。